Now, the two biggest challenges that we are facing today is the pandemic and climate change. The question is, what is the link between the two? You might wonder. Now, a new peer review study has said that rapidly warming Earth has emerged as an opportunity for viruses and increased the probability of future pandemics. The study was published in the journal Nature. It says that global warming will drive about 4,000 viruses to spread between mammals, including potential links between animals and humans. For the first time, by 2070, global warming will push animals to move away from hotter climates causing forced migration. And that pattern will result in the species coming into contact for the first time. There are currently at least 10,000 viruses that have the capacity to cross over to humans and they are circulating silently among wild mammals, mostly in the depths of the tropical forests. But as the temperatures keep rising, they are forcing the mammals to abandon their native habitats. And this is as for the study. It will lead to at least 15,000 new instances of viruses jumping between animals by 2070. Researchers say that the pathogen spillover will be driven by bats, among the widely assumed causes for the COVID-19 pandemic. The reason is that bats can travel larger distances, they can carry viruses that can affect humans and their health. Gregory Alberry, a disease ecologist at the Georgetown University, is the co-author of the study. He says that they have demonstrated a novel and potentially devastating mechanism for disease emerging that could threaten the health of animal populations in the future, which will most likely have ramifications for our health too. Further adding, and I quote, that this work provides us with more evidence that the coming decades will not only be hotter but sicker. Researchers that carried out the study say that it is likely that the process has already begun and cannot be stopped. But if we collectively and quickly reduce carbon emissions, they found that the new contacts between different mammals would effectively double, with first encounters occurring everywhere in the world, but particularly concentrated in tropical Africa and Southeast Asia.